Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Come on over here, man. Let's build. You know? Hey, what's your name, bro? Speak up. Bobby Lowe. Who? Bobby Lowe. Bobby Lowe, what about you, bro? We both resistance, bro. We Y'all fear the Lord? Yes, Y'all fear the Lord. Give me Psalms uh, 111 verse 10. Let me show you what the fear of the Lord is, bro. Because everybody say they fear the Lord. Everybody say they love God. They got a personal relationship with God. But we're going to show you what that really truly is. All right? Because the churches has lied to us. Those Christian churches, those pastors, those 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 child molesters, those pimps that's in the pulpit, they, they are a bunch of liars. They are demons. You understand that? Read that. The book of Psalms, chapter 111, verse 10. Know. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So the fear of the Lord meaning respecting God is the beginning of wisdom. So do you respect God? Do you respect God? Well, take your hat off while these scriptures coming out. That's respecting God. You understand that? Read that. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And you hear that back there, Londell? Take your hat off, bro, while these scriptures coming out. That's the fear of the Lord. You understand that? That's respecting God. Read. And get understanding. Have all things that do his commandments. So fear God is doing his commandments. Right. And that's what y'all brothers are showing right now by taking your hat off when the, right. when the laws is coming out. All right, you understand that? Give me uh no. Give me give me uh personal relationship with, with God. I know him. First John. First John 2. Because a lot of people say they got a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. But guess what? A personal relationship with Jesus Christ means what? You know how he is, right? That means you know him. You, you know what he's all about. Because you can't know him and say you got a personal relationship unless you know his, 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 uh, his temperaments, right? What type of person he is, how, his age, how, where he came from, stuff like that. Right, those things, right? Read that. The book of First John, chapter 2 and verse 3. And hereby we do know that we know him. So hereby is how we know that we have a personal relationship with him. Read. If we keep his commandments. If we do what he say. If we keep his commandments. Right? So do you love God? You love God. Give me that. Love God. John 14. You love God? What about you, bro? Hey, how long, how long have you been blind? 40 years? Is that how old are you? Yes, well, so you wasn't born blind, right? Yes, how did you become blind? You don't mind me asking. Hereditary. Hereditary? Okay, read that. The book of verse, excuse me, St. John chapter 14, verse 15. You know? If ye love me, keep my commandments. So if you love me, keep my commandments. It's the same message throughout the Bible. If you love God, you keep the commandments. Are you sober right now, bro? You been drinking? No? You have? What you been drinking? Beer. How long? How long? How, what, what time did you start drinking? What time of the day was it? Nine o'clock this morning. Right here. Right here. So you've been drinking from nine to nine. A whole shift, huh? Twelve hour shift of drinking, huh? On and off. On and off. He knows everything. That's why he brought you over here so you could get corrected. So you could get this rebuking, get this medicine. All right, what you got? The Book of Isaiah, chapter five and verse eleven. Whoa! I tell them. That rise up early in the morning that they may follow strong drink. 
Like, you know what the word woe means? Woe. W-O-E. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It means destruction to you. It means destruction to you. Destruction, bruh. You know what can happen to you if you start drinking 9 o'clock in the morning from 9 at night? You can, your liver could get messed up. How long you been doing it? How many years you been doing it? For a long time, I, 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 right? 61. How long about 10, 15 years? 40 years of doing that. From 9 to 9, that's a shift for you drinking. That's not a good job to have, bro. Read that again. Woe unto them that rise up early in the morning. So guess what, bro? Destruction is going to come to you unless you repent. Get out. It's going to come. Rest assured that. Rest assured from hearing these words of God. Because now, guess what? You have a responsibility to keep this law now. Right. You have to stop. If you don't, what? That they may follow strong drink. Huh? They continue until night. Huh? Till when and flame them. Read it again from the top. Woe unto them. Woe unto you unless you stop. Woe unto you. You understand that? Woe, you have to stop. Give me uh, 1 Corinthians 6. Matter of fact, give me 3. Give me 6 too. You did that, bro. Yeah. Hey, check this out, bro. Cause you, hey, you was smoking that black amount. You ain't put it out yet. This brother right here said he stopped drinking too much. Hey, you got to put that out, bro. Read that. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? So us being the children of God, right? The Spirit of God dwells with us. But he's not going to dwell with us if we keep on grieving his Holy Spirit that's dwelling in us by breaking his laws. So if you keep on drinking from 9 to 9, 12 hour shift, if you keep smoking those black amounts, guess what's going to happen to you? If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. Woe unto you. Woe unto you. Destruction. And it comes in many different ways, bro. It may come in cancer. It may come from a bullet. It may come from a beat down. It may come from the police locking you up. It could come from a lot of different ways. God, hey, the God, he's a, he's a God of terror, bro. He don't play no games, period. You understand that? So, so bro, don't play with God. You don't play with God. Read that again. Bro, don't play with him. I'm telling you. Let no man deceive himself. Don't deceive yourself thinking, you know why I got some time to do it. Man, God ain't gonna really, he ain't gonna really knock my noodles back for smoking a black amount. Oh, uh, yeah, he will, bro. He'll knock your noodles loose. Yes, you understand man. that? Read. If any man defy the temple of God, him shall God destroy. Woe unto you if you keep destroying your temple. Why? Because he want to use you to do great things on this earth to wake up his children. Yeah. You might be one of the prophets of old that he's trying to wake up that spirit again. Right. Yeah. And if you keep on turning your ear from hearing the law of God, he's going to put you out. Right. He's going to turn your noodles into ragu sauce. Right. And you've seen that on the streets before. Read that again. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. This ain't a light thing. This ain't like, like my man said earlier. This is not a suggestion. This is a commandment. This is something you must do. There's something you must do, bro. That nine to nine shift you've been doing, bro, you gotta stop that thing. Because guess what? The wages of sin is death. Give me that in Ecclesiastes too. Let me get that in Ecclesiastes. Yeah, 89. Let me get that. I like that scripture right there because a lot of our people play around with that. They think God is just, you know, this old lovey-dovey dude. You know what I'm saying? He understands my heart. You know what I mean? That's that Christianity. That's that demon talk. We ain't out here teaching Christianity. We out here teaching the truth. The truth according to the Bible. God's law. Read it. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 8, verse 11. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Because sentence, a sentence, because a judgment, because when you break God's laws, it says the, the payment of that is death, right? Yeah. Because that payment don't come quickly, you think you can keep on doing it. That's what this is going into. Right. I want you to listen real closely. Read. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. So, now that you haven't been punished for this sin immediately, you think, you know what, I can keep on getting away with this. It's just like when you was a little kid, when you used to steal money out of your mother's purse. You didn't get caught, so you kept on doing it. So now as you got older, you start stealing out of stores. You might turn into a bank robber. You know what I'm saying? Now you don't think that you can, you can get away with it, but guess what? God got a, he got, he got something for you. It's called, uh, it's called what? Judgment. It's called judgment. Read. Again. Because sitting against an evil work is not executed speedily, 
that for the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Though a sinner do evil in hundred times and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear God, which fear before him. So you do this thing over a hundred times, you done did it, what, 40 years, you done had this shift of drinking from 9 a.m. to 9, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., you think you good. But next thing you know, you come out of that liquor store, one of these young dudes that you supposed to be training up to be a young prophet, blow your brains out, boom. And what, you on the news, people talking about how good you were, you know you didn't mess with no one, you always walked the blind man somewhere, they're gonna be talking about all these quote unquote good things that you were supposed to do. This is the Holy Bible, the King James Bible. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.